My name's Jeff Johnson. I'm an ichthyologist at the Queensland Museum. Uh, basically, that, that means that I uh, collect fish and research fish, and uh, I'm in charge of maintaining the uh, Queensland Museum's fish collection. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the velvet fish, a rare and uh, interesting species, and uh, some of its adaptations. The velvet fish is a vertebrate, uh, and it's a uh, ray fin fish uh, of the class uh, Actinopterygii, which means it has an internal skeleton. Uh, it ha uses fins for locomotion and breathes through gills. The velvet fish has a special adaptation. Uh, it has an extremely long dorsal fin, and uh, that dorsal fin uh, is used to break up the outline of, of the fish in the habitat in which it lives. In this particular velvet fish, the, uh, the dorsal fin uh, stretches all the way from uh, in front of the eyes uh, to the tail. It has the, uh, the longest dorsal fin of, of any species of, uh, of velvet fish. And uh, the dorsal fin actually begins on the uh, forehead of the fish, uh, which is quite different than uh, most other species of fish, which have uh, specialised uh, skeletal structures that support the spines. Uh, here we have uh, an x-ray photograph uh, of, of the velvet fish uh, showing the dorsal spines extending uh, onto the forehead uh, in the frontal part of the skull uh, with no supporting structures whatsoever, uh, whereas the, uh, the spines towards the, the rear uh, have a pterygia four which leads to a, a neural spine on the vertebrae. So they, they have support uh, in, uh, in tune with m most other types of fishes. This adaptation is reflected in the uh, velvet fish's behaviour. Uh, it, it lives amongst uh, fan-leafed seaweeds in uh, areas where there's a huge uh, tidal current. And uh, with this uh, long dorsal fin, uh, the, the, uh, the fin itself uh, moves in a rippling motion uh, in tune with the, uh, the way the weeds move uh, with the current. In, in this way, the, uh, the velvet fish is uh, able to avoid the notice of predators and is able to feed freely on the uh, small shrimps and crustaceans uh, that live amongst the weeds. Velvet fish are one of the uh, families uh, that I specialise my research on. Uh, this family is highly diverse. Uh, there's uh, currently 43 species in 18 genera known. Many of the species are very rare and there's uh, some species yet to be discovered. This fish we have here today is only found in the uh, Kimberley region of northwestern Australia in very high uh, tidal range areas. I'll be naming this species soon and uh, its Latin name will be derived from uh, the very long uh, dorsal fin as well as the uh, fleshy beard that has on the chin. You know, th these fishes have am amazing structural adaptations that uh, allow them to uh, survive in the specialised environments that they in inhabit.